if you want your students to be able to collaborate and share ideas and thoughts with one another through Google Docs, there is a way to connect that with your Moodle course. First, you'll need to create a Google Doc that you want your students to be able to edit uh, or to be able to comment on. So for this example, I've created a sign-up sheet for class presentations. When I'm in Google Docs, I'm going to I'm going to click this share button in the top. I want to be able to get a shareable link. I want my students to be able to edit the document, so I'm going to change the sharing settings to anyone at Lancaster Theological Seminary with the link can edit. Now that the link sharing uh, permissions have been updated, I can copy the link. Now I'm going to click Done. With the link copied to my clipboard, I'm going to come over to Moodle. This is my uh, Moodle Sandbox course. I have editing turned on. Uh, you can do that through the gear menu. I know that editing is turned on because I'm able to see all of these edit links in my course. This is the section that I would like to add the Google Doc link. So I'm going to click add an activity or resource at the bottom of this section. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and URL is the last option under resources click Add. In the name field, I'm going to type the title of the document. In the external URL field, I'm going to paste the link. There are several ways that you can do this. One shortcut option is to right click on the field and select the option Paste. If you want, a few other options that are available to you you can include some instructions in the description field. And if you want these instructions to appear on your course page, you need to make sure to click this box, Display Description on Course Page. If you only want your students to be able to have access to this document for a limited period of time, you'll want to add a restriction. You can do that from the Restrict Access Options. Click Add Restriction. If I only want my students to be able to have access to the sign-up sheet for a week, uh, I can do a date restriction. So you want the student to be able to access this from today's date. And then I want to add another restriction until next week's date. So this would make the link live and available to students from today's date and a week from today. Once I'm done with all of this, I'm going to hit Save and Return to Course. And here you see the link that I've created, Class Presentation Sign-Up Sheet. This is the description that I gave it, sign up for the day you want to do your presentation. And it also says that it's restricted, that it will only be available if it's on or after February 14th and before the end of the day on February 20th. If at any time you want to make changes, you can click the Edit button, go to Edit Settings, and Make Changes. Save and return to course when you're done making those changes.